Hi, and welcome to the Hyper Tomato and Maker Bit Workshop. I'm Chris Torrance. In this video, I want to show you how to add interactive multimedia to your Hyper Tomato project. So let's get started. Begin by plugging your Hyper Tomato into the supplied USB cable, and then plug the other end of the cable into your computer. When you do that, the LED should blink, indicating that everything is working normally. Begin by starting up the Hyperduino app. The app should automatically connect to the Hyperduino, and this is indicated by the green icon at the top. So the Hyperduino Media Linker lets you link interactive web content with your physical project through the touch points and the LEDs. The app consists of two pieces. On the right hand side is a web browser where you search for and display your web content. And on the left hand side is the list of media items which you're linking. So the first thing we want to do is give a name for our project. So we'll just call it my project. And then we'll start adding content. So what we want to do is we want to link a video to this project. So when the person is talking about the different parts of the volcano, it'll light up and then you can also touch on the touch points. Let's go ahead and add a video to our project. To do that, you can either click on the volcano icon to bring up a YouTube video, or if you don't have access to YouTube on your version of the app, you can use Google Drive videos instead. Click on the Google Drive videos icon, then click on the parts of a volcano video. Click on the green plus to bring up the media start and end time editor and set the start time to 10 seconds and the end time to 12 seconds. This is where she says the words the main vent. We want to respond to this touch point here and light up the LED. So to do that, click on the blue triangle and set the input to respond to to pin T2. And then set the start of media to pin 2 and the end of media to pin 2, which is this LED here. Let's go ahead and try it. I'll click on the main vent. The main vent. And you can see that when she said the words the main vent, the LED lit up. Now let's do the other touch points. The next one goes from 12 to 14, where she says the words the secondary vent. In this case, we want to respond to pin T3 and light up LED3. Similarly, for touch point T4, we want to go from 16.7 seconds to 17.5 seconds, where she says the crater. And this is now touch point T4 and LED4. For the last touch point down here, we want to play the entire video. So in this case, set the start time back to zero and then you want to respond to pin T5. In this case, we don't want to actually set any of the LEDs because they'll turn on automatically while the video is playing. Let's go ahead and try it now. I'll click on the touch point down here. The video will start and then while she's this talking, the various camera. LEDs will light up showing the different, different areas of, of her project. Okay. For example, when she says the main the vent. The chamber? The main vent. The secondary vent. The secondary cone and the crater. You can also add other types of media content to your video, including web pages, Google Drive, Google Slides, YouTube videos if you have access, Google Earth, and Wikipedia. In this video, we've seen how to add interactive web content to your physical diorama or project. Now go ahead and see what you can create using Roger Wagner's Hyperduino.